Clearly, nightclub is where we meet. Not actually meet. We don't actually go to nightclubs. Maybe that would be fun. We've had too many kids way too early in our marriage to be nightclub kind of people. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today we are talking about black paint. It's something that you guys have been asking for a specific video about because as you guys know, those of you that have been visiting us for a while here at House of Valentina, we're always renovating, changing things up, decorating. It's what we love to do. We run a real estate and design business here in the Atlanta area and we love getting to share from our own homes and from our clients' homes. It's just a real joy for us. Before we jump into what colors to choose and all that great stuff, let's just talk for a second about why we would even paint a wall black or a piece of furniture or an accent wall or a fireplace. Why are we even doing this? <laughs> why would we even paint anything black? Well, there's a lot of reasons. And as you can tell from the room that we are filming in, I love this color. I love these dark shades. Dark shades in general add a lot of drama. They are cozy. Dark colors really suit that drama. It's something that I just need in my life. It gives me this sort of charge that I just love. But dark colors, specifically black, can also be so cozy as well. You just feel like you just curl up with a blanket in it and it's warm and it's cozy and it just, it just feels really good. And these are just a couple of the reasons why people typically will paint their walls black. I use black as a design tool as well, and not just black. You've seen it in my mom's dining room when we did that. We painted her walls a really dark navy, and it, it has that kind of effect where if you have a piece of wood and it's dark and you put it on a dark wall, it kind of silences it just a little bit. And then whatever is inside of it really, really sings. And so it, it really is a design tool that can make things that are on that darker hue just kind of disappear and kind of go away. And then when you put something light on it, it just pops. Black paint is not style specific. It really can go with any kind of design. It doesn't matter whether you're traditional, transitional, mid-century, glam, country, uh, if you like French country, if you like English country, if you like Aztec and you like those kind of desert hues. There are so many different styles that just work with the color black. And it looks great on furniture as well. I, I use these black paint colors on furniture. The number one thing is, is that when you're choosing your paint, you really need to understand several things about the space. I like to really mix things up. I don't necessarily only paint a whole room black. This room is completely painted. It's actually technically not black. It's actually technically a dark gray. Um, but when I chose this color, I knew that I wanted it to be all encompassing. And so I painted the walls, the trim. I painted even the ceiling in this room. I know, I'm crazy like that but I knew that this room had a massive amount of light coming in through the windows that are behind the camera. And then I knew that it had a massive amount of light coming in through this doorway. And at the moment I have the door to my kitchen area closed just so you won't have like a weird, <laughs> weird thing behind me. Um, but the thing is, is that I knew this room was very open. I knew it had a lot of light and I knew I could handle it. And I love this color. So, you don't necessarily have to have all that light. I painted my powder room and my uh, laundry room. Both of those are painted in a very, the shade is actually darker than this. <laughs> so you can definitely go darker in a smaller space without windows. You just have to be ready that that is gonna be so dramatic. It is so dramatic. It's so cozy and it's so inviting and it just feels like a warm blanket on you and I love it. I think that a bathroom is a perfect opportunity to do something really fun and bold. So I just don't think, I just don't see any reason to be afraid of it. I'm gonna tell you today which ones that I have used. These are just the colors that I've used in my own home and there is a reason, and that is because they offer a one coat paint. And when you're the one painting that room or you're paying somebody to paint that room, one coat is awesome. That is a lot less work. And I really put it to the test, painting my sunroom a true black recently, and it was truly one coat. 
The first category is a true black. Now that is a black as black gets. Um, it's just a deep, deep ebony. Oh, I think it's just such a beautiful color. And I really love it. I've used a true black in my sunroom. I used limousine leather by Bear in there and I love it. I also used that same color in a high gloss on my doors and trim in my master bathroom. I also tested out this color on my fireplace wall. My next category is this smoky black. This is where I actually started because quite frankly, the thought of painting something that dark kind of freaked me out and I just really wasn't sure if it was going to work. Smoky black shades are amazing because they're a little bit off black. They're not so pure. They're not so dramatic. If you want that pure look, but you don't have a lot of sunlight, a really, 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 really stark black can almost be too heavy. So if you're looking for something that you don't want it to be quite so dramatic, especially if you don't have very much natural light, you can definitely think about using one of these smoky black shades. The number one that I get asked for the most is my kitchen. My kitchen is nightclub, which just makes me laugh because it's like so seedy and <laughs> the house is 50 shades of black and I've got a nightclub in my kitchen. I don't know. <laughs> I just see the humor in it. I just think it's funny. I don't know, maybe that's weird. But um, I liked that color because it actually has a little bit of blue in it. And my husband just absolutely loves the color blue. And I thought this was such a great compromise for us because I really wanted a really black black, like a limousine leather black. And he really liked navy blues. And I thought, well, clearly nightclub is where we meet. Not actually meet. We don't actually go to nightclubs. Maybe that would be fun. We've had too many kids way too early in our marriage to be nightclub kind of people. <laughs> Off the topic. So other places that I have used nightclub. Now I've used this color. The first place I used it was on a cabinet that is in my family room. Another smoky black that I've used is Cracked Pepper. And uh, this is an amazing off black kind of color. It's almost dark gray. It's just a perfect, non-black, it's black. It, it's just perfect. If you want something that's really soft, I think Cracked Pepper is probably my number one choice. I go back to it over and over again. It's it's so soft, it's, it's amazing. So if you're thinking about something and you're not sure if you are a black paint kind of person, if you're just kind of, just wanna like dip your toe in it, Cracked Pepper is a great place to start. I use that on my stairwell wall um, and then I painted the, the hand rail, that is the limousine leather. So I did shocking black and then a smoky black. So you can definitely pair these colors together. You don't have to choose just one. Um, I did the same thing on the fireplace. I've mixed the blacks. You don't have to choose one for everything. It's, it's a great idea to mix them up even in the same room. My family room has several of these colors and then it's open to these other colors and they're, it's all different shades and Part of that's just because I wanted to test them all out and see which ones I liked the most. And in the end, there wasn't a single one that I didn't like. So you really can't go wrong. Just test it out, see what you think, and just go for it. The other category that I think is really gonna be interesting to you is the dark grays that appear to be almost black. So this room is painted Hematite by Bear. This is just an absolutely fantastic dark gray. It is so smoky. I think it's sexy. I think it's just a little bit sultry. It doesn't have to be. It's just the way that I've mixed it with some of my things. I mean, I have a very classic style. It's not like it's like whips and chains in here. You know what I'm saying? It's just a very warm, inviting, cozy, just mm, blank kind of feeling on a, on a cold winter day. It's just amazing. And I've loved it all through summer as well. I love to bring in loads of white and flowers and oh gosh, I just, I just love this color. I also used Mind Coal in my powder room. This is another color that's very smoky and it really does in life feel like an off black. It doesn't feel like a dark gray. Cause if you look at the, oh, here, I'm gonna show you. Let me see if I can get this to show up. Um, if you look here on the little bear card, sorry, I don't wanna get too close. You guys don't wanna see that much of me. <laughs> Um, okay, so Mind Coal is all the way up here. So 
if you were looking at this, it almost is in the brown realm. Like it's getting up there in those shades. Whereas Intellectual is another one that I've used. And then you go all the way down, Peppery, I've used as well on furniture. It looks amazing. Um, I've never actually used black. Maybe because it's just boring. I don't know, what a boring name. Everything else is like welded iron and mossy oak and granite boulder and still gray. And then you've got black. I mean, ugh. I know, you're not supposed to pick the colors based on the name, but I totally do that. I bet you guys do too. Write in the comment, tell me if you do the same thing. Again, these kind of have like a, a brown kind of undertone on this side. And if you flip over here, you'll see these all have like a bluish color. If you know that you're gonna have bluish tones in a space and you want it to feel really warm and inviting with those like blues, or if you really love like summery kind of feelings in your, that vibe where you want like rotary anglais and boats and I don't know, like that, that sea kind of feeling, hang out in this realm. I mean, I, I don't have boats or broderie anglais in my kitchen. So you don't have to have those things to want blue in there. But if you were thinking about blue, um, this is where you're gonna find the um, limousine leather, the nightclub, um, blackout is another, is that's very, very dark. I've actually not chosen that one for that reason. It's just too black. There's no smokiness in that one. Um, I, the reason that I haven't chosen Orion Gray that's down here is because it's getting too purple and that wasn't an undertone that I really wanted. So just trying to show you kind of how I think through all these things. Um, look at the colors that are kind of above to make sure that you can, you're gonna be happy with those undertones because that stuff really does matter. It's not just how dark it is or how smoky it is, but it's also those undertones that are all playing into it. So. Thank you so much for visiting us. I hope that you've found something helpful in this video. Um, visit us at Instagram if you have not already. I've got two accounts there. I've got Valentina Fussell, which is mostly me posting from my own home and the projects I'm working on um, with my family and in our own rooms. And then I've got the House of Valentina, and that's real estate, it's design, it's places that are inspiring us, it's all this fun mix of things. So check them both out. We'd love if you follow both accounts and um, say hi to us, send us a message. We love hearing from you guys. We just absolutely love it. Let us know in the comment section if you've used a black paint. I know that like Tricorn Black is really popular from Sherwin-Williams and there's a whole bunch of really great blacks from other companies and I've left them all out of this video. So if you have a favorite, uh, we'd love if you write it down in the comments. I know everybody really appreciates being able to read each other's comments and see what's going on and learn from each other. That's, I mean, honestly, that's why we do these videos is because we love the community that we have. We love being able to share this with you and to have these kind of conversations with you. So we love that. Give us a thumbs up if you love this video and um, hit subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. If you'd like a PDF with all the colors mentioned in today's video, be sure to look in the description box. The number one question that I am asked, that or my kitchen, what is that color? Um, for those of you that aren't complaining about the room being too dark. <laughs> for everybody else that likes the room, you're asking me for the color. <laughs>